As the land of the rising sun, Japan is known worldwide for its unique culture and fascinating traditions. Here, century-old customs meet the high-tech achievements of the modern age, and the East Asian island state also knows how to inspire in terms of landscape. But when we look behind the breathtaking landscapes and mountain panoramas, we see one thing above all. Japan has a big problem. Do you have any idea why Japan's geography is among the most dangerous on the planet? Then stay tuned until the end to find out. We would also be happy if you would give us a thumbs up and a subscription to support us. And at the same time, always stay up to date. Volcanoes and Earthquakes With its 6,852 islands, Japan has become the fourth largest island nation in the world. But just a quick glance at a corresponding map is enough to see that Japan is practically dotted with volcanoes. Of the approximately 240 volcanoes that Japan counts in total, 40 are active. Located on the so-called fracture zone of four tectonic plates, the lava-spitting formations of Japan belong to the Pacific Ring of Fire. In detail, around 75% of all volcanic eruptions over the past 11,700 years can be traced back to this mighty volcanic belt, and even 90% of all earthquakes worldwide. Given Japan's geographical location, it is not surprising that natural tremors are recorded almost daily throughout the region. In addition to the frequently occurring light earthquakes, there are also violent events at longer intervals such as the Great Kanto Earthquake of 1923, which killed more than 100,000 people, or the Tohoku Earthquake of 2011, which triggered a devastating tsunami and thus started the Fukushima nuclear disaster. Up until this fateful series of accidents, Japan had 54 reactors in 17 nuclear power plants in operation, covering around 33% of the country's electricity needs. Following the events in 2011, the Japanese government announced that it would strive for an energy transition and phase out nuclear power in the long term, without giving a specific date in this regard. However, these efforts did not only meet with approval within the expert groups. Since Japan itself is a country poor in raw materials, it was feared that the domestic economy would be massively burdened by the import of coal, oil, and gas. Despite these concerns, the government should approve the energy transition, but currently, the nuclear tide seems to be turning again in Japan. Since Russia's invasion of Ukraine and the resulting explosion in energy prices, there have been signs of backtracking in Japan's nuclear power policy. Rapid Rise Today, Japan is one of the leading industrial countries in the world. This is remarkable, not only given the natural problems that the island nation regularly faces, but also given that the Japanese economy was still utterly devastated after the Second World War. The fact that the Japanese were able to enjoy such rapid growth and at times became the second largest economy power after the United States was not least due to the developments of the Cold War. Accordingly, the previously enemy countries Japan and West Germany became allies of the USA. While the Marshall Plan laid the foundation for the economic miracle in Germany, the island state in the Far East also got a large piece of the cake. For example, the 1951 peace treaty gave the United States the right to have military bases, for which Japan regained its sovereignty and was richly rewarded economically. The Korean War then brought Japan deals worth billions, which among other things, saved Toyota from ruin. Together with corporations such as Mitsubishi and Toshiba, known as Hiretsu, the corporate networks that have been established form the foundation of the Japanese economy to this day. In order to properly boost the national upswing, Japan did not shy away from looking beyond its own nose. Accordingly, numerous foreign experts were consulted in order to provide the country's own companies with the necessary know-how. Basically, the Japanese were not at all concerned with realizing their own product ideas. Instead, they were adapting those of other countries in order to then optimize them and implement them as cost-effectively as possible. So it happened that the products like Sony's Walkman or the cars from Toyota and Nissan soon bought the guts from the competition. Just take a look around your own home. How many Japanese products do you have? It doesn't matter whether it's game consoles, televisions, or the car in the garage. The items from the Far East arrived in our latitudes decades ago. 
but appearances are deceptive. Apart from the booming auto and electronics sectors, the situation looks rather meager, a circumstance that the local population in particular felt. In the 1980s, the Japanese had to pay the highest prices in the world. The residents of Tokyo even paid 250% more for rice than the residents of New York. And in fact, Japan has been stuck in a stagnant crisis for some time now. China has now taken over the role of the emerging economic power. Geographic Hurdles We have already told you that the inhabitants of Japan are repeatedly confronted with severe earthquakes and tsunamis. The violent hurricanes that sweep across the country with the start of the typhoon season should also be mentioned at this point. All in all, more than 160,000 Japanese died from the tsunamis in the last millennium. In order to protect the more than 125 million inhabitants from the elemental forces of nature as much as possible, Japan now has an effective tsunami early warning system based on measuring buoys in the Pacific Ocean. In addition, many Japanese regularly take part in training programs in which an emergency is simulated. The coastal towns, in turn, are to be supported by gigantic reinforced concrete dikes, which often reach 10 meters in height and 25 meters in width. But these are not the only demands that nature and geography place on the inhabitants of Japan. What is still officially called an island chain is actually more of a mountain range that juts out of the ocean. In fact, around 75% of Japan's land area is so steep that it cannot be used for agriculture or housing. As a result of this limitation, the settlement area is so drastically limited and very unequally distributed. Above all, of course, Tokyo should be mentioned here. Located in the Kanto region, in the east of the main island of Hansu, a good 9.6 million people are at home in the world metropolis. The Tokyo-Yokohama metropolitan area even has a population of more than 38.5 million, making it the largest metropolitan area in the world. Shrinking Population only 14% of Japan can be used for agriculture. For comparison, in Germany, it is about 50%. Despite all intensive land use, the island state is not able to cover its food needs on its own due to its geographical limitations. However, the imports that Japan is forced to make are not limited to the food sector. Oil, electrical machines, and gas are also bought from other countries. Since the settlement of Japan is mainly concentrated in a few huge metropolitan areas, it should come as no surprise that living space in the Far East is scarce. On average, each inhabitant has a living space of 35.7 square meters, and thus around 12 square meters less than the Germans. However, not all Japanese are lucky enough to enjoy such a convenience. According to this, the typical Japanese micro-apartments are often just around 10 square meters. The fact that land prices in Japan continue to rise in many places does not really help to diffuse the situation. In 2019 alone, prices rose in 19 of the 47 prefectures. In addition, the change in the area structure is an ever-growing problem. Almost 30% of the Japanese were older than 65 in 2021. At the same time, fewer and fewer babies are being born in Japan. Let's take a look at the statistics from 2018. While 921,000 new Japanese people saw the light of day at the time, 1.37 million inhabitants died in the same period. Statistically, a Japanese woman has 1.4 children in her lifetime, but an average of 2.07 would be needed to keep the population stable over the long term. In this regard, the Japanese government is trying to create new incentives for families. For example, higher child benefit payments should help boost the birth rate to 1.8 children by 2026. In detail, parents can expect around 800 euros per baby. However, the official forecasts paint a far more negative picture. It is estimated that the proportion of the population aged 0 to 14 will fall from the current 11.6 to 10.7 percent by 2030. Around the year 2050, the proportion of over 65-year-olds in Japan should then be just 38 percent. The Search for Ways Out In order to counteract the growing problems, Japan's new Prime Minister Fumio Kishida is swearing by an economic stimulus package that is intended to pave the way for his people to, quote, a new capitalism. In addition to the child benefit already mentioned, the state also gives small and medium-sized businesses a helping hand. 
For example, the government initiated direct wage increases in childcare and nursing, and other corporations that pay their employees better are in line for tax breaks. With regard to the other sectors, Kashida appears to the collective bargaining partners to agree on the highest possible levels. Although these measures could help to get the Japanese economy back on track in the short term, experts feel that this is not enough to keep the land of the rising sun economically stable in the long term. This would require fundamental reforms in terms of bureaucracy, digitalization, and the energy transition. Ancient Japanese Statue Outside of the obvious struggles that Japan faces, the country is also home to many other strange circumstances and mysteries that leave many of its residents confused and possibly worried. It was recently reported on Japanese television that researchers discovered something amazing inside a Buddha statue in Japan. Researchers from Nara University were studying the statue when they found at least 180 artifacts that had been sealed inside of it. The huge statue is normally kept safe in the Hokushi Temple. This temple is located in the capital of Nara Prefecture and is highly protected year-round. Inside the statue, they found at least 150 objects throughout the figure's body and another 30 inside of its head. This led to the researchers to wonder why someone would have hidden objects inside the statue. What could this mean? If these objects were super valuable, why not hide them elsewhere? It seems super odd that they would be forged inside of the statue that may never again be opened. The chief clergyman of the temple had no idea that these relics had been cast inside the statue. The temple was built back in the 8th century, so we have no idea who could have put them there or why they were put there in the first place. We know that the residents of Nara were doing their best to study and spread the idea of Buddhism in Japan, and the temple was home to all sorts of valuable items at the time. These are just a few of the hundreds of artifacts that have been found in the temple throughout the years. After scanning the statue using super complicated cameras, they found that a large cavity had been carved into the statue that reached all the way from the floor to the top of the head. They weren't able to determine what the objects were, but they were certainly placed there for a reason. This new mystery has increased the public's interest in the statue and raised its value substantially. It would be amazing if we were able to open the statue and remove the items inside, but the temple is unwilling to risk damaging the statue in order to open it. We definitely understand. It would be crazy to destroy a statue that is hundreds of years old simply to retrieve a few trinkets from the inside. 200,000 Bronze Coins A group of Japanese archaeologists made the discovery of the century when they found a small vessel from the time period of the samurai. They opened it up to find that it was filled with around 200,000 coins that are likely worth millions of dollars. The pottery was found in the Satama Prefecture, just north of Tokyo. This is one of the most incredible and life-changing finds in the area, changing the course of history forever. Experts believe the coins date back to the 15th century, and at least 100,000 of the bronze coins are about 60 centimeters wide. To make the mystery even more interesting, the researchers also found a wooden plaque next to the pot that simply read 260. We don't really know what this means, but that's beside the point. This is an amazing thing to find. Archaeologists have made their best guess, and they say that 260 means there used to be about 260 coins inside the pottery. The coins were found just two meters below the ground, so it's amazing that no one had found them before now. They believe that the coins were buried there to hide them from the enemies of the samurai, who were trying to steal their valuables and treasures. A civil war had broken out at the time and threatened areas across the country. By the 15th century, several different clans were competing for power, each one more powerful than the last. This went on for many years, completely decimated many areas across the country. There were also ninja assassins that were running rampant across the country, so it makes sense that the samurai would have buried their gold to keep it away from any enemy's hands. At the moment, just 70 coins have been examined, but we expect to hear more about these coins in the near future. We don't know for sure how valuable they are, but it's safe to assume they would be worth tens of millions of dollars if they were ever sold. What do you think about our little trip to the Far East and the problems Japan is facing? As always, let us know your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. If you're already there, 
don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe so you never miss another post. Finally, please take a look at the other videos of our channel, which we have linked for you here in the credits. And with that, thanks for watching, have a good one, and see you next time.